effect of parameter a on the sine function y equals a sine theta plus q. Let us investigate the effect on the function y equals a sine theta plus q of varying a. If a is positive, let us begin with a equals 1, q equals 0. The function becomes y equals sine theta, which we saw earlier. The graph of the sine function is shown. Now let us change the value of a to 2. a equals 2, q equals 0. The function is now y equals 2 sine theta. Now, to calculate the y values for different theta values when a equals 2, we simply multiply all the previous values of y by 2. Theta equals 0 degrees. y equals 2 sine 0 degrees equals 2 times 0 equals 0. Theta equals 30 degrees. y equals 2 times 0, 0,5 equals 1. Theta equals 60 degrees. y equals 2 times 0, 0,87 equals 1,74. Theta equals 90 degrees. Y equals 2 times 1 equals 2. Theta equals 120 degrees. Y equals 2 times 0, 0,87 equals 1,74. Theta equals 150 degrees. Y equals 2 times 0, 0,5 equals 1. Theta equals 180 degrees. Y equals 2 times 0 equals 0. Theta equals 210 degrees. Y equals 2 times minus 0, 0,5 equals minus 1. Theta equals 240 degrees. Y equals 2 times minus 0, 0,87 equals minus 1,74. Theta equals 270 degrees. Y equals 2 times minus 1 equals minus 2. Theta equals 300 degrees. Y equals 2 times minus 0, 0,87 equals minus 1,74. Theta equals 330 degrees. Y equals 2 times minus 0, 0,5 equals minus 1. Theta equals 360 degrees. Y equals 2 times 0 equals 0. 0 degrees, 0. 30 degrees, 1. 60 degrees, 1,74. 90 degrees, 2. 120 degrees, 1,74. 150 degrees, 1. 180 degrees, 0. 210 degrees minus 1, 240 degrees minus 1,74, 270 degrees minus 2, 300 degrees minus 1,74, 330 degrees minus 1, 360 degrees, 0. Notice that the maximum of the graph of y equals 2 sine theta is higher than that of the graph of y equals sine theta, and the minimum is lower. Now let us take the value of a as 0, 0,5. The function becomes y equals 0, 0,5 sine theta. To calculate the y values, we just multiply all the values of y equals sine theta by 0, 0,5. Theta equals 0 degrees. y equals 0, 0,5 sine 0 degrees which equals 0, 0,5 multiplied by 0, which is 0. Theta equals 30 degrees. Y equals 0, 0,5 multiplied by 0, 0,5, which equals 0, 0,25. We find the other values in a similar way, as shown in the table. Now we plot the points on the same set of axes. and join them with a smooth curve. Note that the maximum of the graph of y equals 0, 0,5 sine theta 
is lower than that of the graph of y equals sine theta, and the minimum is higher. Hence we can conclude that the value of a affects the amplitude of the graph. Therefore, when a is greater than 1, the amplitude increases in comparison to the graph of y equals sine theta, and when 0 is less than a, which is less than 1, the amplitude decreases. We can say that the graph y equals a sine theta is stretched vertically when a is increased. Here, a is increased from 1 to 2. Hence, parameter a causes vertical stretching of the sine function. When a is decreased, as it is here from 1 to 0, 5, the graph becomes compressed. Remember that we took only positive values of a in this investigation. What if a is negative? If we take a equals minus 1 and q equals 0, then the function becomes y equals minus sine theta. To calculate the y values for different theta values when a equals minus 1, simply multiply all the values of y sine theta by minus 1. Theta equals 0 degrees. Y equals minus sine 0 degrees, which equals minus 1 multiplied by 0, which is 0. Theta equals 30 degrees. Y equals minus 1 multiplied by 0, 5, which equals minus 0, 5. The other values are found in a similar way. We can now plot the points and join them with a smooth curve. Notice that the graph is a reflection of the graph of y equals sine theta over the x-axis. Now let us draw the graph of y equals minus 4 sine theta, where the value of a equals minus 4. We plot these points and join them to get the graph of y equals minus 4 sine theta. Notice that this is the graph of y equals 4 sine theta, reflected about the x-axis. We can also draw the graph of y equals minus 0, 5 sine theta, where the value of a equals minus 0, 5. Observe that the graph of y equals minus 0, 5 sine theta is a reflection of y equals 0, 5 sine theta about the x-axis, and the graph has been compressed vertically. The value of a affects the amplitude of the graph. When a is less than minus 1, the amplitude increases. But when minus 1 is less than a, which is less than 0, the amplitude decreases in comparison to the graph of y equals minus sine theta. We can also say that a causes an amplitude change. As a increases from minus 1 to minus 0, 5, the graph of y equals a sine theta is compressed vertically. And when a decreases from minus 1 to minus 4, the graph of y equals a sine theta is stretched vertically. This is the opposite of what happens when a is positive.